As some businesses make the tough decision to close during the pandemic, others are opening for the first time. I spoke today with the owner of Pink Graffiti, a new custom t-shirt company uh, store in Greensboro. The owner says the store was the store opening was years in the making. I had a t-shirt idea um, four years ago, and I actually had a good friend of mine that made t-shirts. Um, and so I was like, hey, I got this idea, you know, I wanna um, make some t-shirts, can you do it for me? And, you know, she was making my t-shirts for me and it got to a place where she couldn't really keep on demand. And that's how Pink Graffiti came to be. Since then, the owner, Janae Lynn Judd, learned how to make custom t-shirts on her own and started selling them from her home. She decided to take a leap of faith and open a storefront on Dundas Circle in Greensboro. I've had confirmation for a while, and it's just really been me afraid to really step out there, but it, it, it's, it's long overdue. At Pink Graffiti, you can purchase t-shirts Lynn Judd designed, bring your design to have her make it, or buy what you need to make the shirts on your own. In the front area, you will see like the shirts on display, the shirts that are for sale. You'll see um, the vinyl, pre-cut vinyl. But it doesn't stop with t-shirts. The vinyl she sells can also be used for other types of crafts. Glasses, coffee mugs, all kinds of things. Um, Do-it-yourself projects, all, all kinds of things with vinyl. Lynn Judd says she plans to offer crafting classes in the near future to those who want to learn how to work with vinyl. And while she understands it's a tough time for businesses right now, Lynn Judd says she has three things working for her. Faith, prayer, support, you know, people pushing me, you can do it, you can do it. Honestly, I hadn't even really thought about the pandemic and, you know, businesses shutting down. Well, big congratulations to her to opening that storefront. You know, during the pandemic, a lot of people have been turning to things like arts and crafts to pass the time. So on Facebook today, I asked you, uh, what arts and craft hobby would you like to be better at? For me personally, knitting. I used to do it in college, haven't done it for years. All right, let's get to Pamela Pink. Uh, she says, for me, it would be crocheting. I used to crochet blankets for cancer patients. I've missed that. Williams Marsha says sewing. Carrie Scott Hodgins says painting. And Gracie Rote says just started crocheting again this month. I'm determined to learn more than two stitches this time. Grace, I think you can do it. Just have that determination. Guys, any arts and crafts things that you've been looking at <laughs> maybe starting again or starting for the first time during the pandemic? I got on a sewing kick in middle school years and years ago, <laughs> like lifetimes ago. And I bought a sewing machine, saved my money for it. I think that I need to get that sewing machine from my mom's house and really figure out how to make it work. Like go beyond just sewing a pillow this time. Hmm. <laughs> the, the pillow, I know I've seen that many times from my friends. That's the first thing everybody does when they try to sew. Mine has always been, I've never done this, not like really giving it a shot, but I wanted to try oil painting. It's something that I've always had a thing for. I had a, um, a great uncle who was a good painter and I always wanted to get him to teach me how to do it, but I want to give it a shot. Well, you're very artistic, a great, uh, <laughs> ar a great drawer. I have a couple Eric Chilton originals hanging in my cubicle. <laughs> I can't even draw a circle. So I'm going to leave any kind of painting or drawing out of it. I can't even color in the lines hardly. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. But if I, you know, when I was younger, I used to, when I would go to my grandpa's house, we would always go to the hardware store and we'd always get lumber and wood and tools. And I would always build something. I built a coat yeah. rack one time for his house. So maybe getting back into that, trying to, you know, working with my hands again, maybe to do something a little more advanced than just a plank board coat hanger. Maybe we'll work on that. I find arts and crafts to be very calming. Mm. I think mm -hmm. if I can sit down and tune out the rest of the world and just focus on that, that small task. I agree. Yeah.